Hello, and welcome back to With Wonder, where today I am sharing with you my 2022 travel favorites. Now, in all honesty, we're not very far into, I mean, I guess we're a third of the way into 2022, right? A quarter, a quarter of the way. That seemed like too much, and it was. And I have yet to embark on the bulk of my traveling for the year, but I'm looking at this as this is my favorites from the past calendar year of traveling. So for the past year, since March of 2021, I have been traveling more. And these are my accumulated favorites since then. And I wanted to post this video at the beginning of the year as opposed to at the end, because by the time it's like November, you'd be like 2022 favorites, it's almost 2023. Who cares about that? So. Hence the video today, and also I love a good favorites video. I feel like it's been a long, long time since I've done any sorts of favorites videos here, and uh, what's better than fun travel gear? So I'm gonna jump right in. I've kind of organized things by category. I've got actual luggage and packing gear. I've got clothing that I prefer to wear while traveling. I've got snacks and food-related things I always bring while traveling, um, some electronic gear, and some other bits and bobs. Starting out with the Mac Daddy. This guy right here. I waited years to buy an away suitcase. First of all, I wasn't traveling anywhere for a little while. And then last year I was traveling a lot of places, including some international travel and longer trips. And I knew I wanted my very own special bag. I'll just leave it there. I've been thinking about getting in a way bag for a long time. You see ads sort of everywhere. You see people talk about it. And I was like, it's a lot of money for a suitcase. Although actually, comparatively, it's really not much more than any other similar type, hard-sided, lightweight luggage. And I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna do it. I'm gonna get it. So I bought this. This is the what they call the medium. Here it is in all its glory. It is a... Well, right, it's a hard shell exterior. It's got the best interior ever. I love the way it's organized. And I've traveled with it, I've gotta say probably at least six to eight times now. I've taken it on all my run Disney trips. I took it to Italy. It's gone other places as well. And it's just the best bag. It moves like a dream in the airport. I feel like it can fit so much in it. The medium is plenty for me when I'm packing for a week or even two weeks in the case of my Italy trip. It just is everything I need and the medium size keeps me within weight limits. Uh, so I appreciate that a lot. I love this color. I believe they call this Coast. Is that right? I wrote it down. Yes, Coast. I love it so much I just may have really recently, as in last week, purchased their carry-on, the bigger carry-on. But I haven't used it yet, so I can't comment on it, but I'm excited to use that because I've got some shorter weekend, but fly to trips that are coming up and I just wanted the set. So I got the matching one. I'm very excited about it, but it's great bag. It packs like a dream. It rolls like a dream. I can always pick it out on the conveyor belt really easily. Plus I have a little, this is old. I don't think they carry this anymore, but a little Vera Bradley crab. Uh, name tag on there. I recommend having some sort of differentiating thing on your bag, even if you think it's like a different color. So yeah, that is favorite number one and definitely probably the number two MVP. The number one MVP of my travel gear is this backpack. This is the Osprey Nova. I believe this is the women's, they call it the Osprey Nova women's laptop backpack. I bought this a couple years ago and I have used it so many times I can't even tell you. It's come on all my travels. I love it so much. I actually, I'm probably going to rehome these because I'm just worried about losing them, but I have some of my, my Run Disney um, metal pins on there, which I love. I love them so much I don't want to lose them. This backpack holds so much, so much. You wouldn't believe it. I can fit my laptop a big book, my journals, which I have more than one of, all of my like travel electronics, which I'm gonna to talk to you about, my headphones, which I keep in the big case, all of my chargers and backup batteries, which I bring big pouches of in this bag, 
and my camera gear in its own special packing cubes. And that can range from when I'm just bringing like my little handheld Sony ZV-1 all the way up to this camera that I'm filming on, which is my um, A, I don't know what it's called, A7S3 or something, <laughs> I don't know, with two lenses. Like, the, you know, there's a lot of room in here and I can still stuff in a sweatshirt and my snacks and whatever, you know, my water bottle and all the things. It looks deceivingly small, but this gets really big. And what I like most about this backpack, aside from the capacity, like the volume, is the design of the back especially when I'm packing gear and I always travel with all of my gear on the plane. Any camera, all the associated batteries, memory cards, external hard drives, I always bring with me. So that can add up in weight. And this bag has such great ventilation on the back. It's got this, it's hard to show you a little bit, but it has this really interesting kind of foam material under this mesh part that just keeps you padded, but also allows for airflow. And the straps are really comfortable. This is one that's, they have a men's version too. This one's specifically designed for women. It fits my frame really well. I have a very short torso and it fits my frame. Um, I have it pretty, I mean, you can see I have it um, tightened pretty much all the way up, but it fits fine. And the expandable pack, uh, pocket in the front even, like I can stuff a whole fleece in there if I have to. And it has other clips and things that are hidden if you wanna like strap on a yoga mat or anything like that. On the sides you can, there's all these different clips and, and straps and things. So I mean this bag is so versatile and I absolutely love it. It is my, definitely my travel MVP for sure. And um, check back soon because I'm gonna do a dedicated video all about this bag and what I carry in it on the regular lately when I'm traveling. Now it's no secret over the years that I've been a long time fan of Eagle Creek Packet Cubes. I love their original sets, which is, you know, kind of more of a, a nylon canvas material with a mesh and they're great and I still continue to use them. But my recent favorite has been their Spectre sets. Now I'm slightly concerned because when I went onto the Eagle Creek website when I was putting together, you know, kind of preparing for this video. I didn't see the Spectre on there anywhere. They have some new things I haven't checked out yet, but you can still get Spectre on Amazon and you can still get Spectre on the Container Store. And as of filming this video, the Spectre of the Container Store is on sale. So is their other Eagle Creek stuff, just FYI. That's probably not gonna last, but thought I would mention it here. So you can get different, like kinds of sets. I like this set, which is what I'll link below. We get the three different sizes. They're so versatile. If you like the idea of packing cubes, but you are really counting grams with your luggage, like you don't wanna add much weight or take up any additional space, I argue that Eagle Creek Packet Cubes, or any Packet Cube, doesn't have to be Eagle Creek, helps you save space ultimately. But if you're concerned, these are great because they are this really heavy duty ripstop nylon that's super lightweight, it's like, tent grade, right? Um, I'm thinking of my backpacking tent, which is like two pounds for this huge tent with the poles and everything. It's that same kind of material. And they're, I throw mine in the wash, I just air dry them. If anything ever is like stinky or anything, cause especially when I'm camping. I've used these to pack my backpacking camp, uh, my backpacking pack, and they're great. They're great, they're great, they're great. I love them, I love them, I love them. Now, I wanted to share with you the Eagle Creek sacks, is what they're called. They don't seem to make these at all anymore, which I'm so sad about. I've had these for very many years. I'm, we're talking like a dozen plus years. Um, but that's how well they've held up, and I use them all the time. Now, these are two different kinds that I use to carry cords, like electric cords, batteries, things like that, uh, in my carry-on and in my packed luggage. They don't make these anymore. However, the Spectre makes something similar. It's a slightly different design where the zipper's more kind of on the, like on the face of the pouch at the front. But I do have one of those and I really, really like it. Um, and I'm thinking of purchasing some more since they're on sale. So I'm sad that I can't link these. I think they're great and they're definitely a travel favorite. Uh, if I can find a dupe or something that is pretty similar, I will link that. But otherwise I'm gonna link the Eagle, the Spectre sack set because that's what I'm going to be um, using from now on for my electronics and stuff. 
and it's just, I just, Eagle Creek, you can't go wrong, they're so durable. When I travel, I always like to have several snacks on me, and I usually pack um, refillable, <laughs> like refills of those snacks in my luggage as well. So some things I always take on a plane with me or in a car ride, if I'm driving someplace or flying, are the Go Macro Protein Bars. This is my absolute favorite. It's called Heartwarming Retreat Oatmeal Chocolate Chip. So good. I don't love most protein bars. I really don't. I find they're just the texture, the taste, it's just bleh. But this one I really, really like and I always go back to it. And then the Soli uh, Fruit Jerky. This is actually, this little thing right here is a whole mango condensed into this. And that's all there is in it. Nothing else. No additives, no preservatives. Just this. Just this. Ingredients. Organic mango. That's it. And it is tasty. And if you need a little pick-me-up but you don't want to reach for like processed sugar, highly, highly recommend. I also always bring my own water bottle wherever I'm going, in the car, on the plane. Now, pretty much every airport I've been to in recent years has the kind of water fountain where you can stick your um, water bottle right up to it and it's like an automatic water bottle refill thing, uh, which is great. Now, I've had this one for probably about a year now and <laughs> I love it. You guys know I'm a fan of Hydro Flask. I have been for years. They are a little bit on the heavier side. They're great heavy duty water bottles, but if you're looking for one to travel with, I highly recommend this lightweight version. They come in a couple of different iterations. This is my favorite. It's a 24 ounce wide mouth. It's, I think they just call it the lightweight Hydro Flask. They don't have this exact color currently. I looked it up, but they have another blue kind of tealy color that's really pretty. And then they have like a bronzy color and a silver color. I have dropped this more times than I can tell you. And it shows a little wear on the bottom, but not much. And it's still Hydro Flask quality where I feel like it's maintaining the temperature of the beverage that I put in very well. Um, but it's such a light, it's so much lighter. And that I love traveling with. Something I've taken to traveling with in the past year is immunity support. I just, to me, it's another level of defense, whether it actually makes a big difference or not. I don't know. It makes me feel better. And I don't know. Why not? It's vitamin C. It's essentially a thousand milligrams of vitamin C. This is NRC. This is the one I like. I like the orange flavor. I haven't honestly tried the other ones, but I usually put this in my water when either when I'm on the plane or right when I get off of it, just to replenish my body after flying. Now I understand that travel mandates are in the process of changing. My personal feeling is that I will probably continue to wear a mask on an airplane for the foreseeable future because I just feel more comfortable that way. It doesn't hurt anybody if I do it. It doesn't hurt me. It just gives me an extra level of um, personal security. I'll just leave that there. My favorite travel mask, and I use this to wear to theater or concerts or any, any long event where I'm going to be around a lot of people. This is the most comfortable and most effective mask for me. And this is the Air Queen Nanofiber Filter Mask. I believe it's a KN94 mask, but I'm not entirely certain. They're from Korea. I buy them on Amazon. I've been using them for the past two years with excellent results. And um, I, I really like how they're really nice high quality masks, but they also don't like close in my face so much. I mean, they, they definitely protect you, but they, I feel like they, they have a little bit of room between my mouth and the mask and my nose and the mask where it's comfortable to wear for a long period of time. I wore one for many, many, many hours of travel to Italy and back and they worked out great. Now for clothing, I have a bit of a travel uniform that I have figured out over the past year. Now, the, what I'm going to share with you today is, well, I'll give you both of my like cool weather and warm weather travel uniforms. So for cool weather, up to like 60 degrees really on both ends, and I look at whatever the coldest destination is, I always dress to that, whether it's I'm, where I'm coming from or where I'm going, and I make sure to wear layers because I can always remove clothing, but it's hard to add it if you don't have it. So what I've been wearing pretty much for the past six months are the Pop Flex Super Sculpt leggings. They're actually in the wash, so I'll just pop in a little picture. I really like this because they're a nice high quality 
legging that's not super thick. It has some breathability to it, but it's not super thin like my other favorite legging, which is the Lululemon Align leggings. Those are basically like wearing nothing on your legs. That's what it feels like at least. But the Pop Flex Super Sculpt, they're really nice high rise. They have pockets on the side, which is very convenient if I need a quick place to stash, like when you get the little luggage tags and you're trying to, you know, when you check your luggage and they give you a little sticker and you're trying to get through security and juggling all your bags and you maybe don't have time to like stick everything in its right place. That's where I'll shove in the, you know, the little sticker luggage tags in my phone until I get to security and get all organized and whatever. So those leggings are great for cooler weather. And then I, one of my base layers and something that I just wear all the time wearing right now is a Universal Threads t-shirt. Now Universal Threads is the, one of the more recent lines at Target. I believe they replaced Massimo, which used to have my favorite t-shirts. It's basically just cotton tees, cotton v-neck tees. They have changed the design of them over the years, but generally I find that I like them and I have them in so many different colors. They last really nice long time. They're very inexpensive. You can sometimes get them on great sale for like six or seven dollars or even less and they come in all the colors and I wear this all year round for travel. When it's cooler I will layer up with this. My favorite pullover. I bought this on clearance when I was pregnant with Donnie. So I got, I got a large. I would normally buy a medium in a like a sweatshirt or a pullover or a jacket or anything like that. Um, so it's a little bit bigger on me, but I actually love it. Um, and it was really much less expensive because it was on clearance. Patagonia is uh, very expensive, but very high quality. So I've had this for four plus years now, and I love, love, love it. Um, and they still carry it. It's I believe it's the Retool Snap Tee. Is that what it, I wrote it down. Retool, yes, Retool Snap Tee. They have different colors. If you can get it on sale, that's great. If you can't, I still think it's a worthwhile investment. This is something I will have for many, many years. I wash and put this in the dryer with all my regular clothes. And I wear it even when I'm not traveling, but it's a really, because I bought it a little bigger, it's really nice for traveling, especially in the winter months. When it's warmer, I still like always to bring a layer on an airplane, in the car, wherever I'm going, anywhere. I always make sure I have layers, at least one layer, even if it's like 95 degrees out. This, unfortunately, I'm so bummed they don't sell this anymore. This was an Amazon hoodie by Core 10, which is an Amazon brand. I believe it was like 20 bucks or less. I've had it for many, many years now. Uh, and they don't have it anymore. And, I'm, and they, they didn't make like a different version of it or anything. But um, if you're familiar with Viore, I believe is the brand, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. They have a similar style hooded sweatshirt and I will link that here. I haven't seen it in person, but from pictures and reviews, it seems to be the same. So it's very lightweight hoodie in the gray. It's so versatile, it goes, I just whapped the back. It goes with everything. Um, but I, I will check out that hoodie in person if I can. REI carries that brand. Um, I love their joggers. So if it's anything like the jogger material, which I'm actually wearing right now, then I would say it's very comparable. Of course, footwear is so important. I get so many questions about my sneakers. I wear these for everything. Every day, just walking around, running errands, taking walks. I will hike in these unless it's a pretty steep or long hike and then I have the actual hiking version of these exact shoes with the ankle support you know so they're like more of a a low boot these are the ultra lone peak trail running shoes I run in them too I do everything in them they are a zero drop shoe which means that the heel to foot is flat they are very supportive they're not it's not like you're walking right on the earth they have a really nice cushiony sole but it's just the design of the heel. I find, and they have a very, very wide, luxurious toe box. For my foot issues, they work beautifully. I've been wearing them for a couple of years now. Uh, if you're lucky, they might still have the last edition, which these are the, I think they were the five, on sale. Because they are really nice sneakers, they're expensive, and if you can save any money, you can. That's why how I bought these. I bought, whenever they release the new one, so the new version is like the six or whatever, the, they put the fives on sale, and then you can get a nice 
amount off for a brand new shoe. So a little tip from me to you. If I can find the ones on sale still, I will link them. So now we're getting into travel accessories, I would call them. Um, I talked a little bit. I mentioned the Sony headphones, the name, they did Sony and the na way they name things. I just don't, they're so technical. These are the Sony WH-1000X M4 headphones. <laughs> Couldn't call them like some one word name apparently. These are Bluetooth wireless, but they also come with a cord, which is clutch. If you are a video editor like me, you don't want any delay in your editing and any Bluetooth headphone is gonna give you at least a slight delay. You wanna be able to plug right into your computer with an auxiliary jack. These are great. I can wear these for hours and hours and hours editing on flight or at home if I need you know, to, to be quiet if I'm editing into the wee hours. Um, they're very comfortable. They have great noise canceling. I really love having them on the airplane whether I'm working or not. The case is great to keep them protected and they're very comfortable. The ear padding is like a memory foam. And so, and it just, it's so nice. They're very nice. And I find that I am kind of picky about um, headphones and how they feel. Uh, Cause I don't want it to, I mean, nobody wants to feel uncomfortable wearing a headphone, but those are great. Other travel accessories, I must, 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 I can't. I can't tell you how many times I've brought this up in video. If you watch my videos, you know. The Lululemon Everywhere Belt Bag, it's just, it's clutch. I, I don't even know what else to say about it. So I, my preferred way to wear it is crossbody like this, not because I'm cool, but because it's just so freaking convenient. It's so convenient. Uh, this fits perfectly my wallet and keys and phone, and I can fit like my AirPods in there and a bunch of things. It's got nice zippers in it, so it has two mesh pockets on the side, a bigger mesh pocket in the back, and a zip pocket that's close to you, so if you wanna have your phone your wallet even closer to your person, it's great. It's great for traveling in any circumstance. I feel like it's nice to have a belt bag, especially if you're a touristing and you wanna keep things really close to your body. Uh, but it's also just super convenient for everyday use too. It was my everyday bag for almost a full year and I love it. I meant to put this more in the packing category, but I got a little bit out of order. The Le Sport Sac cosmetic cases. I've probably used a Le Sport Sac cosmetic bag in some iteration for the last 20 years because my mom is a fan of them and she passed that love of them down to me. Now these I bought many, many years ago when they had their collaboration with Rifle Paper. So these are really, really cute. I love Rifle Paper, I love these bags. These are my toiletry bags and I always have them in some way, shape or form packed and ready to go. This one I put all of my skincare in. It's empty now because I actually travel with my skincare because they're small bottles already, but all of my skincare fits really well in there. Um, and this is the rectangular cosmetic case from the sport sack. And then this is the extra large rectangular cosmetic case. And this has everything else. And I have it all packed up. It has my brush and lotions and mouthwash and toothbrush and razor and hairbrush and face um, shampoo and conditioner and all, all sorts of things in there. And it's just a great size. I really find that this is very, these are very packable. Like they fit nicely in the grooves of the suitcase. They sit nicely on a, a countertop in a hotel bathroom or Airbnb or wherever. And like I said, I just keep my mostly packed up and then add in things that as I need to, like my skincare. Um, and you can put these in the washing machine too. I would air dry them, but it's a nice, uh, you know, nylon, easy to clean. And the sports stack does really fun collaborations all the time. Right now, in fact, they have a Fantastic Beasts collaboration with some really cute things. Uh, so I'll link those there if you wanna check those out. Something that I find imperative to travel with these days is a backup phone battery. I really like this one because it is magnetic. It magnetizes if you have a, I don't remember what generation iPhone, I have a 12, so it works like that for me. And you turn it on and it will charge your phone and you don't have to have any cords and you don't have to have something to plug into. So I always travel with this now. I bring it with me when I'm hiking. I bring it with me in the car just to have it. 
like if I'm gonna be out all day just locally I will bring it to it's clutch to have because you can still use your phone like say I need my map right to navigate or my trail map or whatever I can still use that easily without bothering with any cords or anything like that and definitely don't need an outlet and then lastly a few things that I find is necessary as a fitness enthusiast and as a daily yoga practitioner I always always travel with my yoga mat if I'm in my car I have a like a full weight yoga mat that I bring with me I actually just keep it in my car all the time just in case of an emergency yoga situation I don't know I just have one that lives in my car but if I am packing a bag and I want to fly especially I bring my jade travel yoga mat I've had this I want to say for at least a decade it's got to be something like that. I've had it for a long time. It is starting to show some wear and tear, but I have taken this on countless trips now. I think it weighs, I'm not sure, I didn't write it down, but I'm pretty sure it weighs two pounds, around two pounds or less. And what I love about it, so I keep it rolled up for um, storage in my closet because um, I don't want it to crease and stay like creased. It does roll out really nicely. You can see there's a little bit of wear on there. But when I'm packing it in like, say this suitcase, I can fold it up very, very flat. Do you see? So it's just flatter even than if you were like to bring a little blanket or something. And I can see myself putting this in my carry-on too. Like you could even fold it up even smaller. I need a yoga mat when I travel because I do yoga every day. I use it for stretching. I exercise when I travel. Even if I'm going on an outdoorsy trip, I like to stretch after doing outdoorsy things. So there's that. And then my last travel favorite, and this is just a life favorite lately because I do exercise quite a bit. And this has been so key in keeping me healthy and in my recovery. The Theragun Mini. This is a percussion therapy uh, machine. So it's hard to explain, but it basically like just moves really, really fast and it will, oh, I use it every evening, especially on my lower legs and even on the bottoms of my feet. That's where it helps me the most with my particular um, body things. But it's, the mini is great if you're gonna be traveling with it a lot because it's significantly smaller than the large one. By, as far as I'm concerned, I don't need anything more than this. This is plenty for me. It's less expensive too to get the mini. It's so easy to pack. It is not light. It is heavy, but to me it is worth it. It is worth it to bring. And if you are training for anything or just work out a lot and have to deal with you know, managing your recovery, I highly, highly recommend it. And those are my 2022 travel favorites. I hope you enjoyed this video. It was fun to share. A favorites video with you it feels like a throwback I would love to know what some of your travel favorites are if you care to share in the comments it's always fun to hear what people what people's tried and true um, travel things are and I look forward to seeing you again real soon thanks for watching guys take care bye